Welcome back to our Amazon bestseller series where we check out Amazon's best-selling products to see if you should pick them up or not. What are we looking at today? Today we are looking at the best-selling quadcopter Ooh. for only $36 too. It's by a company called Holy Stone. Huh? Do you wanna slide it yes. over here? <laughs> Sorry, so this is it. This is a Predator. It is a 2.4 gigahertz RC series four channel quadcopter. Something that's really cool about this is mm -hmm. it can flip and roll with just the touch of a button. Yes, it is an indoor and outdoor quadcopter, as you can tell by the guard, which is very important, especially if you have children who are going to be using it. That's a safety feature you need. One of the concerns that I have with it is it takes 45 minutes to an hour to fully charge it. And Ooh. the flight time's only six to eight minutes. That's not very long. At yeah, all. no, that's not a lot of flight time. So a couple features on it, it has a six axis gyro, which just means it's gonna be stable. Biometric design, withstands five to six wind scale, four motors driving, and then over six minutes of flying time. Barely over six minutes of flying time. Now, what were you saying before about it having a cool feature? Yes, it can flip and roll with just the touch of a button. So we're gonna check that out in our studio today. The last quadcopter that we reviewed, hmm. it said it could flip and roll, but it never actually worked. So hopefully this one, being it a bestseller, it will actually work. It's very, very light too. Only about half a pound. Nathan likes quadcopters more than I do. He has a drone. I do have a drone. Ooh. Here it is. So inside of that baggie there is all the accessories as well as a manual. You get extra propellers, you have a screwdriver, and yep. you have a USB. I guess that's to charge it, I would imagine. Possibly, it's kind of weird. It's like, it's like USB to a different type of USB. Maybe that's if you want to charge it on your computer. Here's a quad cutter. That's pretty small. And here is a remote. Holy stone. It's a big remote. Yeah. Yeah, this USB is the charging connector. You plug it in here to charge it. So, first up, the controller feels a bit plastic. Have you felt this controller? Feel it. $30. $36. All the money definitely went into this quad copter. Like, this feels pretty well built. I will say. It feels like it's built a lot better than the controller. Yeah, the left analog stick, mm -hmm. it looks like the spring is malfunctioning because it doesn't spring back to the center, where the right one, it does. It does horizontally though. Yeah, it does horizontally, but not vertically. I think maybe it's supposed to be. Yeah. Maybe that's like the throttle. Maybe. Maybe. So, this being a best seller. Yes. How many reviews do you think Ooh. this got? A thousand. I 1, keep highballing them, a thousand. Okay, and how yep. many do you think, How many, what percentage do you think are five star? Ooh. 80. I'm gonna go with 80. 80 percent. Feels like a good product. You guys have to wait to the end to find out if he is right or Way dead off. wrong. Oh my god. So this being a quad that takes an hour to charge, we'll be back in an hour. We're gonna let it charge her. Oh my what gosh, how many batteries? batteries? Eight? Six. I can't count. Six AA batteries. Really? For this little Get guy. Out of here. You know what else is weird? I just noticed this here. I don't know if you can see this. This antenna is just for show. This antenna doesn't actually connect to anything. All right, we'll be back. Two hours later. It has been about 30 minutes. We are back. We are ready to see this drone in action. Number one best-selling drone on Amazon. Is it worth it or not? Okay. Let's turn it on. Ah, no, 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 give me this. I don't trust him. Ah, Nathan. There we go. Nice. My turn. My turn. All right, let me see this. So. Why do you go that way all the time? Oh. Do a flip. You're getting that. <laughs> what? That went like to the worst possible spot ever. How did you even do that, Nathan? Ready? Ready. Gotta go this way. Flip it, flip it, it, flip it, flip Stop. it, flip it! You're scaring me! Why are you screaming? I'm trying okay. to get you to flip it. That's forward. <laughs> trying to like freak me out here. So, one of the propellers is a bit damaged. Ow! I did nothing, stop touching it! <laughs> this is so scary. <laughs> All right, get in there. Get in there, big guy. I'm staying far away. I really want to get it to flip. Just flip it. Just 
push it up and then flip. Well, that didn't flip it. Did you flip it? Yeah, I thought I did. All right, here we go, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah, right? That's to flip it. Oh, you're hovering. Flip it! Press the button! You flip it! Where's Press the button! No! Ah! Ah! That wasn't, that wasn't that bad though. It was better. Well, we pushed all the buttons, we didn't find any flipping action, but it was pretty good. It's not very stable though. It's only 30 bucks. It doesn't have 36. like- 36. 36 bucks. It doesn't have obviously the computer tech inside of it to hover properly. The controller does the basic functions. It's, it's not bad for 30 bucks. We crashed it a bunch of times, so. What are you pointing at me for? You crashed it probably the same amount as I did. So, the reviews, Nathan. Yes. How many reviews did it get? How many five stars did it get? You said how many? 1,000, 2,000? 2,000. 2,000, you said 80% were five star? Yep. So, this Seriously? received 4,932 reviews. 71% of those were five stars. That's actually pretty good. For an Amazon review, especially on a tech item, that is pretty high. Yep, so now we're gonna review a somebody that gave it a five star, and then somebody who gave it a one star, and then we are gonna say how we felt about this drone. Yeah. So first off, this is from somebody named LH, and they titled this, Fly Well, Still Work Great a Year Later. The kids love them. <laughs> we previously purchased two of these drones. The coppers we have are durable, fly well, still work great a year later. The kids love them. We recently purchased another one for a friend and had problems with it in the air. I called customer service this morning and they are sending a replacement right away. It's too bad we couldn't get the drone working properly, but are very happy with the prompt and courteous customer support. I'll update on a replacement product and delivery when received. Mm. So they updated it. The new drone was received within a few days and works perfectly. There are more, we are more than satisfied with the mini copter and the excellent customer service support. Great product, excellent support, support staff. Interesting, even for an inexpensive product they were very supportive, mm -hmm. that's, that's good to see. So, <laughs> here's the one yes. star. Woo! So this is by a person named PD, very disappointed. I've had two drones and neither would hold a constant altitude and hover. This unit takes consistent ongoing adjustment. It's either going up or down. After recalibration, it got better than worse. Mm -hmm. Even trimming isn't a permanent solution. I certainly wouldn't recommend this for a small child. Recommended upgrade to the HS170G, much better. Interesting. That's a problem that we found, that it wouldn't hover very well, but again, it's only $36. You can't expect that the technology is that great. So, after reading those reviews and playing with it yourself, what would you give it on a scale of one to five? For $36, I'd have to say it's a solid four, to five star rating. I mean, when you think about it, it is $35, right? And it's able to do what it does and not break. I mean, we've dropped it from quite the height and it's still surviving, you know? Like, it's a durable thing, it's fun. Now, there is obviously the minimal age limit, so you shouldn't give it to a small child, but like a 13-year-old or 10-year-old can probably use it. I like it, four to five stars. What about you? I am gonna say three. Because mm. I didn't like the fact that it wouldn't hover very much. You expect Although too much. the price is very, very good mm -hmm. and appealing, I would have liked to be able to hover. And we couldn't figure out how to flip or roll the quadcopter, so that's why I'm giving it a three out of five. Yeah, that was a bit strange. There's no button on the controller. There's nothing that actually says flip. So that was our review of the Holy Stone quad, best-selling quadcopter on Amazon. If you guys have a product that you want us to review, make sure to let us know in the comments down below. And make sure you subscribe.